Helping young people in Chicago reach their highest potential and prepare for careers in the restaurant and hospitality industry. No Matter What is a nonprofit dedicated to supporting Chicago public school students with mentorship, career readiness training, and also mental health healing, that is. The group is getting ready for its Culinary Futures fundraiser this weekend. No Matter What was founded by Chicago police officer Kenneth Griffin, who is joining us here tonight along with student Christian Stone. Welcome to the the both of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Cannot wait to hear more about this organization. I want to start with Officer Griffin. Tell us about your journey because you started in the culinary world. You then became a Chicago police officer. What inspired you to do that? Yeah, so I actually started my culinary journey um, at Walt Disney World. I was a chef at the Yacht and Beach Resort. Um, and then I came back to Chicago and uh, after the police controversy centered around the Laquan McDonald shooting, um, I saw that there was a need for um, police officers that uh, wanted to do more in the community and wanted to actually be a part of the change and be a part of the solutions. But you still wanted to be around the youth, right? And you can do that certainly, and you do still as a police officer, but you started an organization that, that is centered, you know, on youth and your culinary experience. Tell me a little bit about No Matter What. Yep, so uh, No Matter What is a nonprofit that invests in the youth of Chicago through job readiness training, uh, mentorship, and mental health healing, with a strong emphasis on helping young people reach their highest potential no matter what. And so we um, invest in them. Uh, Obviously, I was a chef, and so uh, we go into the different schools that offer culinary arts, and uh, we work with them, and we actually give them the opportunity to learn basic culinary skills. All right, Christian, I'm going to bring you in on this conversation. <laughs> Tell us about your experience so far with No Matter What. What has it meant for you to be a part of this? Um, so starting with my experience, um, uh, I was a part of the winter um, camp. It took place over our uh, winter break, and it was for, I believe, what was it a week it was a week and it was just very fun it was a lot of cooking I learned a lot of things even though I'm in a culinary program it was still things that I was able to take home and do myself um, made cookies and things like that from scratch so it was a very fun experience to learn so you will be a part of this event that's coming up correct yes so the kids do the cooking for that yep so it, it, it's an amazing benefit. Um, all of the kids from different culinary schools, um, like at the high school, so Simeon, he goes to Simeon, um, Dunbar, um, different schools that have the culinary program, they'll be actually cooking all of the food. What, what kind of experience do kids have when they come to, to No Matter What? Because I imagine just based on your experience that, you know, cooking and, and food in general is kind of your avenue to, mm -hmm. to reach the youth. But I mean, I think back to, to when I was his age, I didn't know how to cook. Yeah. What are we doing? So I say it all the time, you know, you show me a kid that terrorizes the community, I'll take that same kid and show you how the community terrorized them with lack of resources. And so we just want to be a resource for young people. And so we give them the opportunity, whether it's culinary arts or carpentry, gardening, because we have a community garden as well. Whatever it is that they want to do, um, we invest in them. And we, if we don't do it, we'll get them involved with someone that does it. And we just want to show them that no matter what you go through, no matter where you come from, um, no matter who you are, you can be successful and you can make it no matter what. And then, and then you get that moment where you see probably a spark in their eyes and they go, I get it. Yep, all the time. I mean, it's amazing because even with our benefit that we're hosting Sunday, the kids get a scholarships as well. So we give away six scholarships. And so they see that small sense of hope that someone believes in them, that someone wants to give them the opportunity and it, it takes them far. Okay, tell us a little bit more about this event that's coming up. What will the kids be doing? Well, do we know what Christian <laughs> is cooking? <laughs> so he probably doesn't know what he'll be cooking yet, but um, a lot of, the, so it's a St. Patrick's Day theme um, because okay. it's St. Patty's Day. Um, and it's to celebrate our previous trip last year. We took 17 kids to Ireland. Wow. And so um, this time they'll be cooking things centered around um, uh, food from, the, from Irish. And, um, we basically, uh, the kids will be cooking, there's an open bar, there's dancing, it's basically partying with the purpose of raising funds to be able to do things like our camp, um, do things like our trip to Italy where we're taking 50 kids this year, and then we also have a community center that we're building on the south side of Chicago. So they don't know what they're cooking when they show up though? No, well, he, he may not know because he, so he's one of the students that's going to Italy with us this uh, summer, okay. so he, he, he will be involved in the cooking but not um, with the, the group that's going to be cooking at the benefit. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. But you did tell me what your favorite thing to cook was, and then, you know, Kenneth was over there shaking his <laughs> head. Go ahead and share with us. What, what's your favorite thing you like to cook? Um, it's Alfredo because 
it's got to be easy. You, you got to be. <laughs> Butter, noodles, cheese. I, mean, I love it. You have to elevate it. No. Oh, we're going to elevate. <laughs> you, it's, See, no, this you is a reflection with that. This is a reflection on you, though, Kenneth. <laughs> that, if you're shaking your head at what he's cooking, you're the chef. By the end of the summer, he'll be making chicken Vesuvio. <laughs> okay. All right. And before we go, Christian, I do want you to tell everybody, because I asked you before this segment, what do you want to do? You're a sophomore in high school. Mm -hmm. What do you think you want to do when you're, when you're done with school? Um, definitely go to college, um, major in criminal justice and minor in psychology. Um, and also, I don't see me being a chef, but I do see me taking cooking as a passion. So just being the family member that they can really cook. Yeah. And yeah. You got a lot of nodding from, uh, from Officer <laughs> Griffin there. I love it. Yeah, I mean, you know, whether you want to be a chef, uh, a police officer, he said he thinking about being a detective. Whatever it is that he wants to do, I believe in him. That's why I was like very passionate about working with him and just seeing his growth and seeing where he can make it. I truly yeah. believe in him. I love it. Well, he's a sharp young man, and yeah. if he follows in your footsteps, he'll be in good shape. Thanks so much for both of you being here. I wish you guys the best of luck, obviously, at Thank this you. event coming Continue up. And enjoy success. your time in Europe as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right, no matter what's Culinary Futures event, again, happening this Sunday, March 17th at Fairley on Chicago's near west side. You can find tickets on no matter what's website, nmwchicago.org. Yeah, Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.